Okay, tonight we are just doing a quick review of mean and and mode. So mean, if you remember, means average. Means finding the average. So I drew this. I if you remember this picture that we had on the board uh, earlier today, I mean equals average, and we put the v in average like this scary mean guy. Okay, so mean means average, and that means that you take if you take so many numbers. Let's say we have a five a 6, a 7, and an 8, if we're going to find the mean or the average of these numbers, first we add and then we divide. First we add and then we divide. So I'm going to add those numbers up first. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. And 18 plus 8 equals 26. So if I added all those up, I would get 26 as a sum. Okay, so first we add and then we divide. So 26, now we'll divide it by whatever, however many values we had. And in this particular problem, we had one, two, three, four values. So we're gonna take 20, that 26 and divide it by four. So four goes into 26 six times. 6 times 4 is 24. So our average, we're going to have a remainder of 2. Our average is 6 with a remainder of 2. Okay? So if we go to our worksheet now that you have for homework, and we look at number 1, we're going to find the mean or the average of these numbers. Okay, now the first thing I, I'd like you to do, because we're going to be finding the median as well, so go ahead and the first thing I want you to do is to put these numbers in order from least to greatest. So to do that, we've got a 2, that's our smallest number. The next smallest number here would be 7, and there's two of those, so we're going to put both of our 7s in there. Now the next smallest number is the 8, so we're going to stick that in there. And then of course we have two 9s, so I'm going to put both my 9s in there. Now they're in order from least to greatest. Now to find the mean, remember, mean means average. So we're going to go and add those up. 2 plus 7 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 9. We're going to get that sum. I know that 9 plus 9 is 18. And I know that 18, if I add that 8 to 18, that's going to give me 26. And then if I take that 26 and add 7 to it, that's going to give me 34, 33. Then if I take that 33 and add another 7, I'll be at 40. And if I add 2 to 40, now I'm at 42. So that's the sum of all these numbers. Okay. Now if you're at home and you need to use a calculator on this tonight, you are allowed to use a calculator. So go ahead and use a calculator if you need to just to do your adding, just so it can be quicker. Um, or do it by do it in your head. You guys are smart. You can figure it out. Uh, but So 42 is my sum. Now I take that 42 and I need to divide it. I need to divide it by however many variables there were. And we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 variables. So I'm going to take 42 and divide it by 6. Now, I know that 6 times 6 is 36's, so 6 times 7 must be 42. And if you need to, look at your multiplication chart, but it's 7. 7 times 6 is 42, and when we subtract that, we get a 0 as a remainder. So our mean, or our average here, is 7. Okay, let me uh, do one more, and then I'll get into median with you real quick. So for number 2. Same thing. Put them in order from least to greatest. I went ahead and did that. It went 1, 2, 2, 2, 4, and then 7. That's order from least to greatest. Now the first thing we do, we're going to find our mean. And to find our mean, first we add and then we divide. First we add and then we divide. So I'm going to copy all those numbers the vertical way. You don't have to do it the vertical way if you don't want to. But for some of us, it makes it a little bit easier to visualize the problem this way. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 4, uh, 6. 6 plus 1 more is 7. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
and 11 plus 7 is 18. So my sum is 18. And now I'm going to find my, I've got, I need to look at how many values I have. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 values. So that's what I'm dividing by. 6 goes into 18. I know that's 3 times, because 6 times 3 is 18. So my mean here, or my average, is 3. Okay, so let me go back to number 1, because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find our median. And if, uh, if you remember our poster from class, median, just like the middle of the freeway, median means middle. Okay, median means middle. So if we're going to look back at our problems that we, so if we look back at the problems we've already started, we've already got them in order from least to greatest. That's the first step. You've got to have them in order from least to greatest. So now we're just going to work our way to the middle and see which one's in the middle. So we have a 2, we have a 7, and in the middle we have a 7 and an 8. So you could do this two ways. You could say our median is 7 and 8. We have them both. Or you could say it's seven and a half. Okay, either one is fine. But uh, if we look down here at number two, again, median means middle number. So we're gonna st we've already got them in order from least to greatest. So we're gonna work our way in. We start on the edges, then we work one more in, and here we go. We've got two median numbers again, two and two. So what is our median gonna be? Two. Okay. All right. Good luck with this. I think you'll do well on your homework tonight.